I want to talk about corporations. Corporations is what the attorney is in charge of setting up the corporation. We're in charge of the taxability of it. And generally, we work with the attorney because it, between being a what we call a regular corporation, which is like AT&T or, or Johnson & Johnson, um, no matter whether you have a, you know, no matter if you're an individual with a corporation with $100 or you're AT&T, you're still a C corporation and you're double tax. Normally, small business will not be a C corporation. So with that, then let's go to what most corporations, once you've incorporated in state law, that's, that's the legal side. There is still elections to be made once you're incorporated. Then what happens is probably 99 plus percent of all corporations are S corporations. So with that, they end up becoming a flow through entity. So with an S corp, you still get the, the liability protection that the attorney has told you about, but what we do is look at the tax advantages. The biggest one probably is if it's paying a reasonable salary, then any profits the company makes over reasonable salary, is it flows through to the individual's 1040, and they pay ordinary taxes on that, but they don't pay self-employment or social security tax on that. So that's the big item they talk about there. Now, as far as as far as that's the big advantage, the thing we have to worry about, there's also areas of compliance. If I distribute something from that S corporation to myself, that may be taxable event. Again, that's where we are there to advise the client what transactions between the individual and the cor S corporation are taxable and what transactions or events between that individual and the corporation are non-taxable. And see again, what people think about when they incorporate is I'm incorporated. But that's when the game starts. And we have to be there to help them to either avoid taxable events or if there's a tax situation, how to lessen that tax.